It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Boom. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Good afternoon. And welcome to another fantastic show of Dad's Land and Kebabs. <sighs> School's out for summer, my friend. Fucking hell. Yay. Do you remember the build up summer holidays as a kid? That long period of time that you would have off you, that last day of school. Yeah. Hello, Mickey. How are you? How's your week? I've been great now. Thank you so much Shh. for asking. Right. This is just yes. Fringe. Back to school. Back to school. This yeah. Is, this the is last just day of before the holidays. <laughs> it's pre intro, right? You, you pre intro all this. It's pre intro intro. It's pre o intro. Yeah. It's pre intro. Yeah. Oh, the dogs are out. I'm not shutting my window today, though, because it's hot. So, people, I apologise for the dogs that I will be setting fire to later. With petrol and bombs and grenades and swords and All lawnmowers. All the things you cannot say. Right? This, is just, a, this, this is just a disclaimer announcement. There are no animals that were harmed in making of this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear yeah it's just some dogs just bark for no reason they it's just like they, they know they when just, you're gonna film they just know they do they think right mickey's got his window open let's bark I and then they tell many, the next I one wonder, i wonder how many podcasts that you've done where they've got you've got the dogs barking in it. so many at least 50 percent. at least oh yeah in my old house if it wasn't my dog barking it was fucking people little kids running past making my dog bark and chasing them to, to dogs in this fucking house in the garden you chase, me, you chase my fucking dog <laughs> the worst thing i used to have these little <clears throat> trampy kids that will walk past hear that jess is barking in the garden or in the garden they go woof woof at her and then she would obviously that wild rub, yeah. yeah she would woof more bark more and then they go woof 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 and then, so I go around to the front of my house and I open the door. I say, oh, you little fuckers. I fucking let her out. I used to do that when I had another a male dog, even bigger than Jess. Big fucking built staff he was. And I used to fucking take him to the front door. He's a big fucker. And, uh, yeah, it's like, fucking do that again. You know, not that my dogs would eat children, but, you know, <laughs> who knows? I know. <laughs> are you, what have you done? Are you done to your beard? Your beard seems to be... No, my beard's bit. just extending. It's, it's because the grey is getting more defined in the middle. And this, I've got a second layer. It, I'm letting it spread, Niall. You know, don't I get never, jealous. I never you ain't grey. I, I always want it like... Pointy. I used to have pointy. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good beard, like that. Good oh. point, that. that that's, that's a good point. Have you got uh, any products in that? Shut up, dog! Fuck's sake, man! You ain't to bark all that time! Fucking hell! Daily yeah, he... sweat. Daily sweat. Daily sweat from his armpit. He does this and goes. <laughs> Honestly, mate, you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to do some about these dogs. <laughs> Fuck! Wow, cunts! Honestly, it gets worse. Oh, can't! Where's I've got my I've got my aircon. I've turned my aircon off and I've got my tube out right there. Shut the fuck up, fucking wankers! And yes, I am sat in my pants as well. By the way, if anyone I'm saw in my, shorts. I'm, I'm in shorts. I'm in box. I'm in boxes. They'd shower when I come home. I thought no, no clothing. Yeah, I did. As soon as I walked through the door, my work trousers were off. I was just walking around free with his knob out. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, mate. You know that kind of vibe. No, um, no, it's only if it's only a Thursday. <laughs> it's only or, a Thursday. Or a Monday Sick. if you're listening. Hello, welcome on, to the week. <laughs> no knobs are out. No knobs are out or making in this podcast. They will be kept in the pouches and the and the required areas. <laughs> it's just, oh, yeah, this weather, man, it is like a light switch. I am telling you, like yesterday was moderately warm. I noticed because the car was a bit hotter. However, yeah. today is just. I hate the evening. Like, why not? Like, I don't mind if it's hot all day. 
why not when it gets like five o'clock just go <laughs> back down to 16 degrees yeah that'd be better uh, Monday morning I went to work I put the heating on in my room at the cemetery and I'm like fuck me it's cold I was cold on Monday and that's today today look it's fucking sweating it's just it's just too much it's just too much we can't and I know it's only going to get worse as time goes on we're going to get used to tomorrow they reckon it's going to be 30 but that's in London that's in London mate oh, I, we can handle it down here mate yeah that's all the all them buildings on fire in London at the moment no, it's that's Leeds. Leeds. I've seen that. I don't know what's going on, but I've just what, seen a lot of... Pushing police cars over. Yeah. That was this afternoon in... I can't remember. The Hare Hill or something it's called. Something like that. Yeah, no yeah, idea. yeah I've seen it. Never been there. What do you get from tipping a police car over? Honestly. Well, just when there's, on, when on there's like street. 200 people doing it, you know, pff, probably nothing happens to you, to be fair. Because who done it? But they are people filming, so, you know... Seen a lot. Of, oh God, seen a lot of live streamers and stuff. Yeah, the old tickers, the old yeah, tickers. Yeah, I I messaged Keir Starmer and the Labour Party today about he's that. In. About is he that. In? <laughs> no, he said I'm too rude to him, so he he declined. You know. About what? What did you? What did you? Oh, did about you tweet? about the in, about the incident that we just dis- sort of discussed, mentioned briefly. I, I, I tagged him in a, an X or Twitter post expressing my dislike of himself. So, yes. Are you not, are you not a Keir Starmer fan? No, I'm not. I think he's a very weak, pathetic man, gentleman, whatever you want to call him. I know he's an Arsenal fan, but that only gets him 1% of like. The other 99, I still think he's atrocious for our country he's god already, save the uh, king he's yeah. already backed out a lot of what he said hasn't he he and has he's already said listen guys i know what i said however it's gonna take some time i've got to speak to a few people it might not happen <laughs> translates it's, to it was never gonna happen <laughs> it, it, it's kind of like when it's kind of, keir starmer the only way i can sum it up it's kind of like do you know when you'd ask your mum for something when you was a kid and the words we'll see we'll see yeah. out, you know it's bollocks <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, don't lie to me never happening you got a care for you man I think you're lying <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh it's not the best yes breezing on in into the summer holidays now yes we have you, did you watch you... go on of what you finished your kids' sort of school summer holidays now, and you're done. Yes, yes, yeah. One's at, one's on uni break. The other one's up the dust. Yeah, uni. You, you. <laughs> is he really? <laughs> yeah, and my youngest is seventeen, and he has a job now. So, woo, woo. fair play. So but, that school thing for you's done. You, you yeah. Don't have to, plan six weeks of childcare, entertainment, potential holidays, everything. Eat your cupboards outright, you know. Spending extra money. Yeah, I've been seeing TikTok started today. Because some schools broke up last week, maybe. But I've seen a lot of schools have been having, around the cemetery, they had uh, sports day the other day. And they were screaming like when the races were on, on the athletic track and that. And it sounded like, I don't know, someone was on fire. They were like, all the girls screaming and shit, shouting and cheering. It's like, oh my God, that's so loud. I thought something was happening. School's out. Holidays School's are in. Yeah. It is, honestly, for me, that that's the biggest thing going on for me at the moment, is trying to plan what to do, how you work. And, and, and the thing is, as a parent now, is what I never understood as my parents, was how they did it. How they managed to, you know, there were four of us, you know, yeah. Sometimes six of us, like it was like step brothers and sisters were staying for the summer. How did they manage to plan activities for six kids and pay for it? I don't know. Would you, do you think a structure would be better 
So for this amount of time, you'll be doing this. Then after that, you'll be doing this. Then you're going to go and play in the garden. Then after that, you have lunch. Then you go and you're going to be doing yeah, this yeah. for two hours. Routine, routine is, is key. I never used to believe in routine until I met my wife. My wife is militant about routine. My wife runs a calendar. And I mean, do you know the kind of person that writes on a calendar everything? You know, dentist yeah. here. We're seeing this person for dinner here. Yeah, yeah, I used to do here. that. Like, I can't, I mean, can't. I've got the, I've got the, patience to go and type everything into a calendar whereas now I'm like let's have a look see what's on the calendar I do that I have a diary of work stuff and personal life when I'm doing stuff etc so I've started that this year so yeah do you think it helps it does because then I remember stuff <laughs> and you, Are you is that is that because you're having a bit of a senior moment no so, it's, it's just so that <clears throat> when I was younger, I would write down everything I did, like like a diary, I suppose, up until I was probably 20. But I didn't write my love stories in there. It was just like like appointments, uh, going out with my mates, stuff with the missus. Uh, I also, also used to write in when I had rows and what it was about. <laughs> oh, God. So you could bring it up at a late stage. No, that's what women do. They've got an internal diary. Yeah, and then I went years without doing that, and I sort of felt lost, even though I knew I'd done it. And a lot of things. This is why Instagram is quite important for me because I post my memories on there with things I've done with friends or kids or whatever. So in a way, that sort of reminds me of oh, I had a good year. I did this. I did that. But now I thought I'd go back just to write in the basic things in there just so that I can sort of keep track if I want to go back and we're discussing something or, oh, what day did we do that? I don't, I don't know. And then I could look in my book, my diary, and it would tell me, oh, yeah, we did it then. And yeah. then, yeah, because there's That's nothing worse problem. than not remembering yeah. when you did stuff or you thinking and you're having a row with someone. Oh, no, it was this day, though. It was this day. I, I hate yeah. that not having the evidence to back it up yeah I, I need to be right and have it written down I, so, yeah, I respect that I respect yeah. that so I think for me that's like the it's not a teenage little girl writing a, a sorry stories and her emotions she lost me, and, she lost me no, yeah. did, you have a look, did you have a little padlock on it oh no no look, what, what was the point of those little keys they were like the easiest thing to lose yeah, because I was so yeah. small. <laughs> and all she had to do was twist the padlock slightly, and it'd open anyway. Or he'd just pull it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> diary. I don't think I've ever kept a diary. I tried to start a journal. I really did. I really tried to focus and start a journal. And then Your start. memoirs? No, not memoirs. I don't know. I guess it's just write shit. I, I enjoyed writing, though. Writing no, you, I've got an idea for you. Start writing down. Um, the diary of an, a young dad. You're not young though, are you? So maybe not that title. That's a bit shit. Um, Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not old either. 32. 32. 32. But then, yeah, I think from a there's nothing. There's no book out there. No, no one's writing about man's pers perspective about having a child, having a pregnant wife. Bring up the child. I'm lost him. Where are you going? Hello? Hello? Niall's fucked. It's Niall because Niall's fucked. Niall's Hello. stuck. Niall's stuck. Niall, your, your internet is not very good today. He's still fucking stuck. Look at him. He ain't moving. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I think your internet yeah, is playing up now. today. Because your, your earphones, oh, oh. your audio is a bit weird. Wait, it's not so weird. Yeah, it's like you're at the back of the room. Rather than... And you're still frozen. Oh my god, it's not my internet. Mine t this tells me when mine's shit. Uh, so anyway, people, how are you all? We haven't been posting on TikTok lately because ever since they took our video down, they decided to not let anybody see our videos and we went from 700 views on average per video 
down to like 24 per video and I released about 9 or 10 videos after that incident and that video was returned as well but well I've got two Niles and yeah so that is a reason why no funny clips have been put on Instagram lately so I can't it's saying device is not connected they will need to connect their mic before they can add them to stream uh, Niall is currently in stream but not really in stream oh dear so yes guys we have two mugs available still the others have been sold the dads lads and kebabs mugs they are black with with our phrases on our logos on and they are Hello. available on ebay now i was back you sorted this internet out hey i'm yeah. full fiber now what are you talking about clearly not because you went funny and i was clear mine tells me my mind you went shit. funny you went funny to me mate That's... don't blame me yeah anyway getting back to the book <laughs> idea there's nothing from a man's point of view you see, the, scale, it depends what you wanted to do. It doesn't have to be a book. You could do little mini videos about, you know, the funny th stories and things that happen, like a a video diary, as it were, of of the progressiveness of, you know, waiting for the child to be born, appointments, midwife, going to hospital, like the false alarms, going to hospital, things like that. That'd be wicked. There's nothing. It's always women that do that. And men, there's nothing for the dads out there. And our podcast is Dads Ads Yeah. So, you I think know. it should be healthy now. I think it should be like Dads, Lads and Quinoa. <laughs> dads, Lads and Avocado. <laughs> no. No, it's come out of the way. Yeah, I'll leave if sure. you do that. Mate, don't talk about leaving. Like, mm. you haven't got another podcast. Already. <laughs> I'm, I'm, mate, I'm already scared that one day you just be like, oh, listen, mate, my podcast is taking off now. Hey, are you going to the, uh, are you going to the Kettering Theatre to see a vet field in live? Well, the most haunted live. Yeah. Thing. You can fuck right off. You don't like me. <laughs> I thought your best friend, I, I thought your best friends were, mate. No, a vet blocked me on Twitter a long time ago. Go and ask her. Go. Just get tickets. Just ask her why she blocked you. I am not giving Most Haunted any money, Niall. You're not shining any light on them? No. They can fuck off. I can't, I can't believe they're still around. They were being totally honest with you. Well, Sam was the best one. They were being totally yeah. honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Went down who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, Sam was good. Poor Derek. Um... Mm. Yeah. What was I going to say to you? What was I going to say to you? Yeah, it's gone out of my fucking head. Did you watch the football? Oh. Yeah, I watched it. Football. It was. I said Spain would win. I said it a million times over. A million times over that Spain would win. They, England, did not play like they were in a final. They played like it was. This, they played like a rainy game on a weekend. Once they got it back to one all, oh, they 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 were playing for penalties. Because they did not attack at all after that, and then Spain just went up and scored, and it's like, wow, spanked them, absolutely spanked them. So predictable. And on that shit night of, you know, that happened, England lost. We woke up on Monday morning to find out the attempted assassination of President Trump. Oh, I know. There's loads of shit kicking off with that. You. You can literally just hear the conspiracy theories with the tinfoil hats just going like, we've actually got stuff to talk about. <laughs> but I don't think people re I don't think people realise what a bigger deal that is. You know, it's presidential assassination. I think I mean, if if he would have been killed, there'd have been civil war in America because was, he's he's the man that's going to save America later on this year and you've even got obama telling biden today don't think it's a good idea for you to run you he, know he incited well, biden incited some stuff though right didn't he, he incited what well, from what i've heard and what i've read is that there yeah. were definitely there were definitely like some you know gear up against republicans and, you know all that jazz 
I just think, I mean, you know, to skim an ear like that, that, that in itself is like the biggest of close calls. If he'd have done know? that, he'd be dead. Yeah. Yeah, if he'd have moved an inch to the left or, you know, or if he would have tried to duck but in the wrong way, that would have been it. Um, However, from what they've said is that a lot of people were pointing this person out within like 30 seconds beforehand. Yeah, the geezer with the Donald Trump hat with the orange hair, he was telling the BBC News out there that he was telling the Secret Service and the police officers that were there there's a man on the roof. He's got a rifle for three minutes, two to three minutes, he said. And he was telling them, they all tell him, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. And they didn't do nothing. So they reckon it's an inside job, don't they? That's one of the conspiracies. And it's like, wow. You You'll know, they, know. Will, they will You'll find know. out. I mean, no. yeah, they, I mean, they got the guy. Well, they full on neutralised him, right? He's, I love the word neutralised because it's such a, like, clean way of saying yeah we smashed the bastard you know what I mean <laughs> uh, they unhumanised him unhumanised that was it unhumanised him <laughs> but there's yeah. even there's even conspiracies about him as well which I won't go into because it's not PC to talk about those sort of things no no no, no I know that I know that I yeah. don't really want well to touch on it too much that's why they changed always... they changed his photo didn't they that they released yeah. to the press, yeah. And now since a different one has come out. Yeah, yeah they, I mean, he made him look like a proper bedroom geek, right? Keyboard warrior. No, that's not what I'm on about. I can say that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to say anything, so I don't want to be missing no. But from what I've, all I've seen, yeah, I, th I think I haven't delved into it because, quite frankly, I don't want to. I just think it's a bit like, fuck's sake. Like, everything's just weird at the moment. Do you not just find that, you know, with Con? Yesterday, there was a, there was a, um, Putin's nuclear map got released or something. You know, I've seen that. How was it? His nuclear map of where he would target if Russia was attacked. Honestly, yeah. It's like, honestly, when, when is all these people just going to sit down and go, you know what? Let's just go on a lads holiday. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's just forget about it all for five minutes and let's just leave it be. Politics is bollocks, man. I'm starting to really, really disattach myself from wanting to just know any of it anymore. Because you you just build up a personality behind it all of what you think and you're just fed information. And I always feel like that. I always feel like you're told what to think. You know? Of course. If, if you are into a certain if you're into a certain politics, your brain will be washed with that politics. You, that genre will be pushed into you and you'll believe it and you'll just feed off it. And it's the same way people feed off negative energy. Like, you know, if everything around you is negative, what have you got to be positive about? Exactly. It starts to seep through your, through your soul and everything and your being. Everything you see will be negative. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you felt that personally. You, I, don't know, I mean, you know, in your own life, I'm felt like that. But I know you felt like that, where you felt like, you know, where you've been work-wise, you know, it's just been negative and you've just felt like everything's just been drawn out of you. Nothing's good around you. Everything's going wrong from your cards and your fucking, I don't know, anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you, can, you can feed off that energy of everything just being shit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's easy. It's easy to do. Easy to do, and it does My, it does draw you in. And I think that's you know, as I think one thing I've noticed is as I've tried to focus more on my health, my body, and was the, I think was the realization was the fact that I can't lie to myself anymore. Like you can't tell yourself that you look better than you do. You know, if you're <laughs> a, like if you're a fat motherfucker, you're a fat motherfucker. You got some shit to be honest with yourself. And it was only to the point where I was actually going, no, you can't lie to yourself anymore. Like, you're not who you was. No. You want to get back to who you was, but however, you know, you're still eating the same old shit. You're still not exercising like you should. You're not even doing walking every day like you should. And it was like, I think the realest you could ever be is to yourself, right? 100% right. The 
real as you can ever be is giving yourself advice. Hardest thing to do. Hardest thing to do is to take your own advice. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, fuck me, I've gone down a little rabbit hole again, haven't I? I've gone down, I've gone down from talking about this to talking about this. We, we were talking about Trump and then suddenly we're talking about fucking depression. So, mate, suddenly, give it, <laughs> suddenly give it a couple more minutes and I'll be in tears. <laughs> and I'll be shaking and quivering in the corner. <laughs> oh, God. Mate. What's going on with you? What's happening with you? I am having a row on eBay at the moment. I sold something the other day, yeah? Posted so, it, yes. Posted it, huh? What do you sell? I, I sold the Holy Grail of EVP recorders. Right. Yeah. And uh, I posted it yesterday, special delivery, so it'll be delivered today. And, uh, yeah, so she sent me a message, this woman, who uh, received it, or, or didn't, as it were. I've had to have this re-delivered through no fault of my own due to Royal Mail bullshit saying the address was inaccessible, which is a blatant lie. I've paid next day delivery so I would like postage refund, please. You? It's not my you fault. You don't I, said, can't, I said, can't they get to your house then? Read delivery doesn't cost anything. They just come back the next day. And she just replied this minute. Of course they can access it. They never even tried. I had CCTV all around my house and they never showed. Well, good. That's some, that's some leaving it. Oh, I don't want to fucking have a row. But... I'm not going to be paying postage. For I love her. people. I love people that message. On it's so, wow. Buying shit. I sell a lot of shit. I sell so much on Vinted. And honestly, the thing is, right, Vinted's got a bit of a call. You sold on Vinted. You ever bought anything on Vinted? No. I don't so go into Vinted's it. So, Vinted's got a bit of a clause where, you say if I bought something off you and I paid 150 quid for it, Right. Yeah. And it got delivered and I went Oh yeah, cool, it's fine. And, but what happens is so the money that you're supposed to receive gets held in a little account. Yeah, eBay do um, that as well now. Yeah. And I have to I one, I have to mark it as received, and two, I have to mark it as that I'm happy with the purchase. Oh, okay. Even if I'm even if I'm really happy with the purchase and I click I'm not happy, I get a refund. And get to keep the item. See, that's I think you told me before. Or I'd heard stuff about vintage. That's why I never use it because I hate. You that. still get paid. You still get paid no matter what. However, the person that's buying nine times out of ten, I reckon if it's under a set, a set amount of money, they get to keep the item. If I said no, these shoes you sent me are really dirty. They're not in the condition that you told me they were. Yeah. Like a sip. They'll be like. Okay, we'll refund you. We'll refund you. How does that work, though? So the so the seller gets to keep their money, and the buyer gets the item and a refund that they've mm-hmm. sent to the to yeah. the seller. Oh wow, that's a bit shit, isn't it? How do vintage make money? <laughs> God, their fees—they charge a shitload of fees. Oh, Not really? loads, but sorry. I mean, like, say for example, you, <coughs> you buy a, you buy a t-shirt for a fiver. Three quid of that will be the fees. That they right. take. Yeah. You know, so it's not. But yeah, fucking, I love sellers and buyers. How much was this? How much is this EVP thing worth? New. I'd, ra- I'd rather not say. Did you spend a lot of money on it? No, I sold it. Did you steal it? No, with? I. Let's just say, eBay took a hundred and twenty-five pound off me in fees. And I, I got it. I sold it for a hundred and fifty pound profit. So, from what I paid originally, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> no, I was frozen again, or he's very good at not moving. No, his internet is shocking today. I do apologise, people. It's just the Mickey show today. But if you'd like to listen about paranormal, then join join me on the Ghost All Podcast over on YouTube and Instagram. Go check it out. I talk to the very best in the paranormal field. 
Look at now, he's just stuck. Oh, you guys watching on YouTube are going to have a very good time today. If you'd like to see Niall's face in funny positions, because <laughs> he's not moving. I now have two Niles. <laughs> One, two. You've got two. I've got two Niles. Look at this fucking stuff. I can take a picture because it's funny. <laughs> Let's bring the other Nile in. How does this work? Let's free hey. <laughs> There's three of them. <laughs> oh, there you oh, go. Two. I don't know what's going on tonight. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, look. You had three of you. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know what's going on with it. It's normally fine. Yeah, I don't know. He was telling, me to, to, he was telling me to move closer to the router. I mean, my router's just there. Uh, maybe there's an issue with your... Who's living room? I will say, if I... My living room is in the room is in my living room now. It's not oh, I, have, I don't... I don't... I don't live there. I can't see it now. No, I know. But I'm, I think I wouldn't turn the camera around anyway because you'll upload the video and then you'll get back. Oh, yeah. No, but you said, have you seen my living room? I said, no, I haven't. <laughs> you, have, you have seen my living room. You've been in my living room. Oh, I thought you meant today. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I have seen it. Is that where it is? Yeah, it's in, it's in my living room now. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, you don't know what I was going to say. I need to. No, I don't, because yeah, you were stuck uh, like this. What were we talking about before? Is really interrupting eBay fees. Uh, you sold eBay fees. You sold for a lot of money. You, you yeah. made a hundred and some quid in fees. So that means you made about seven hundred and fifty quid. More than that. More than a grand? No. Under less a grand. Than not, less than eight. Uh, after fees, yeah. Just. What's this EVP, what's this EVP recorder called? It's a DR60. Right. I'm going to get a box of, a box of 100 of them. Yeah, you wish. They were stocked really in red? the 80s. Yeah. Oh, so this is like a they, really old piece. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're like the holy grail of paranormal evidence capturing. But they've been debunked as um, having a flaw. That's why they were discontinued. Because it's a magnetic strip inside that records. And when you wipe it, it just re-records over it again. So you start getting bits of words or something but then again that's what they always say but mine I, I didn't really get many EVP so I never got the random screeching or screams or words that would come through that other people have been getting I did occasionally but not very often did occasionally I did but, the old but, words. I, but I thought fuck it I don't I don't really use it that much anymore and it's just sitting there and it's like a fucking gold mine you know i've got bills to pay i can add that and have a bit extra you know i've got my bills to pay i've got my bills to pay mate that's that's when i sell my shit i'm like well, you know i need new tires i've got things i've got things in my locker that I've, the, the, you know, this year I've, I've i've sold two cameras for hundreds i've sold that for hundreds i've sold i sold another spirit box today for 120 it's in a box there. It's about this fucking big. Let's go. Let's go in tomorrow afternoon. So good. It's just clearing out stuff I don't really use that I can get money for to pay off bills and put in my savings. You know. So absolutely, my friend. Build Minimalistic. Yeah. Yes, you're taking it. You're taking the leaf out of my book, mate. Yeah. If I don't need it, I'll get rid of it. Bin it. Bin it. Sell it. Burn it. Well, not burn it. Sell it. <laughs> I've I've cut down on so for me obviously clothes was a big one for me I have so many clothes however I sort of always seem to wear the same old shit and normally when you are trying to lie to yourself about your weight you wear the shit that's most comfortable so yeah. the jeans the jeans that fit you snugly you're like mm, I'll keep them problem is, is is that you know I've got jeans back from 2018 back when I was like you know a 30 waist not 30 What's that? <laughs> <laughs> like, and I 
Roxy Park, made a fortune for these jeans. I mean, I've got shirts in my wardrobe that are a size small. The chances of me being a size small again, <laughs> this is slim pickings, mate. I've not been as small since school. <laughs> and I, Honestly, wasn't, I was, probably wasn't then. I would say 2000, 2016, I was, some of my shirts were small. So in eight years. You've grown up! Probably, yeah, yeah not just in weight size. However, for me, at the moment, it's just, I'm, I'm going through the emotions again of realising that's a big thing for me at the moment. It's just taking taking stock of, you know, what I'm doing to myself. And, and I have been improving for a long period of time. Like, you know, this is not mm. just a, this is not just something that's recently happened. This is this has been going, but for me it's about the continuation of keep doing it, keep showing up, keep doing it. Because the problem is that I get so far into a good wheel and then I'm like, why not fuck it, let's have a takeaway. You know, and then that's it, it trains off the train again. Yeah, I did have something to show you. Ooh, um, I like you when you show me things. All right. <laughs> oh my god! Right, that's fine. No, no, that that's in Leeds. Don't look at that. Right, where is my likes? It was. A, I'm sure it's a video that I wanted to show you. I'd say. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's funny. Right. You see that? It's a new Japanese toilet. <laughs> so you sit down. <laughs> and that helps to alleviate build up in the in the rectum. I'd rip your part. Just let you rip you a new one. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese in their toilets. They're very, very advanced, but you go in there that I've seen anyway, and they're just all buttons. You don't know what happens. Have you, have you, have you, have you ever used them? You ever used a Japanese toilet? No, I've never been to Japan. No, no, but I mean, you, you can, they've got me here. I've have used, they? I've used a toilet that has the, you know, the lever that comes out and does the square. Oh, like a like bidet. Thing. Yeah, like a like a B day, but a posh version of a B. B days are nice though. I think B days. I've never nice. used one. Do they do they not splash shit everywhere, off your bum? No. No, because you, you basically go over it. Do you wipe first? However, there was no. You wash it. Oh. So oh, okay. So you got however, shit stains on your bum hole, yeah. <laughs> and then you squat down over it. You press the button. Water shoots up, and then just goes phew, all over the place. With bits of fecal cleans, matter. Cleans your muff, cleans your muffler, yeah. I heard that. Hmm. Have you ever pulled it apart? <laughs> no. I heard Colonic. that. Colonic, we still got to go to do that. Chloric irrigation, yeah. Chloric, chloric irrigation. Colonic, not chloric. Colonic. <laughs> chloric. Colonic. Co colonic, yeah. Chlorine. Yeah, not um, chlorine. B days in the UK are banned. <laughs> Uh, are they? Apparently so. Apparently it's illegal to have a B-Day in the UK because they had this idea that basically it, it's a certain type of B-Day but they are banned because they're worried about poo going back into the water supply. Oh yeah, it would do it. It'd fall back in. Yeah, but so does your toilet well, when you flush, no? You can have basins that wash and go down into like a trap and go oh. but there's a certain type of B-Day that shoots up I think they were the ones who were banned. I seen something the other day about it, and I was like, another stupid fact that Niall now knows. B days <laughs> were banned because they didn't want poo going back into the uh, supply. Imagine getting that stuck in the U bend and calling a plumber out. Oh, imagine that not, smell. You just wash. You just washing off the. I mean, I've used them definitely abroad. As a kid, I was. I used to piss in them when I was a kid. I used to be like. <laughs> It's like, do you know like when Crocodile Dundee is like, this hotel's got two Danny's, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, it's, it's a bidet. It's a bidet. It's a bidet. Oh, no. See, I've... The future. No, well, clearly not in England, anyway. It depends on your diet, right? 
if you're if you're uh, I've noticed definitely my poos are now just they're just solid solid lumps none of that none of that anymore it's just yeah one or, one or two a day solid drops weighty fuckers <laughs> well I <laughs> I cur- I currently must be on proper keto at the moment because I've not been since Tuesday morning and normally I have a little bit before work same time have my coffee sit down go to the toilet just before I get ready to go to work not had it since Tuesday morning and I don't really feel like going I've hardly farted so I am proper in the zone this week for keto so when that when that comes out I'm going to scream in pain when it stretches and comes out because that is what will happen and that is an issue I have unless I drink lots of Red Bull and coffee and it will just and I'll be fine I need to soften it, but I'm not taking Laxido. <laughs> oh, God, no. No, 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 don't do that shit. The thing is with Laxido is you take the first one, it does nothing. You take the second one, not really much, it's very well. And then by the time you've took a third or fourth, it's like, probably should have done that. <laughs> I ain't stopping. <laughs> I have had, God, so many bad experiences with Laxido. I used to take it, as I used to take it as way back when it was for weight loss. Oh, to shit yourself. You mean, you're on about laxatives or laxido? Laxido, laxatives. Well, it's not the same thing. Laxido is to to soften the poo, so it's not as hard. Laxatives get it out at, like, nuclear level. Laxatives, and I used to take... Yeah, yeah. Laxatives quite a lot, so I used to think. I mean, way back when, the only videos that you'd ever see would be on fucking Facebook. And I used to see, yeah, see the video, it was like, people losing weight with laxatives. Yeah. I, I remember when I fell for these, these pills when they first came out years and years ago. And they were caught, do you remember these pills called Adios? No. There was a green one and a pink one. You bought them and there was like Adios Max. And Fuck Adios. No. And they were sold, <clears throat> and they were sold in, I got them from Wilkinson's in Western Fable. Yeah. And basically, I was going. I was, I was looking at these pills like, about like, sort of like, top of Tic Tacs, and I was like, "It's not doing nothing." But I, I took like three of them in one day once because I was like, "I want results. I want them now." Anyway, I ended up with knots in my stomach, it was just pure shits for about three or four days. Skipped college for about a week because I was just shitting through the eye. I, I got the results. I lost, but yeah. It's back when, if I worried about my weight back then, like I do now, fuck me, I'd be a rake now. There were nothing on me back then. No, you were a lot, even in the beginning of this podcast, you were a lot slimmer. No offence. But, but I think the, I think the fact you're a dad and uh, you're a proper old man now, he's just sitting watching telly with slippers on, walking around the garden, so. sweeping your grass... <laughs> this is it. I need. I need to. This is it. Also, also, your job was before when you were we started this podcast was you just turned into the job that you're doing now. So before you were you were active, you were out and about every day. You weren't sitting down. So unfortunately, your job could possibly have helped. I had an idea. This was this was some of the idea of the podcast as well. Was I wanted to just get a picture and just. Every time that we film, just display that picture in my picture and be like, "Right, you got. Let's do a let's do a twelve weeks of." And if we both did it, so we both had an animation, and then we both did like a twelve week, three month, yeah, three month transformation of what we could change within that three month time frame. I mean, you're doing it anyway, like so, but. For me, it would be like a big impact to go. So we will just have this image there every time we film for the next few months. To be fair, I could do that. I could take stills off each podcast each week, put them onto video, do a split screen, and then play it, and I'll share it on here as a video, and you could watch our faces change, possibly in the similar sort of position on the screen. That might be a bit difficult, but 
you know you, you might get the gist of it yeah or, or i could do that from the start go back to episode one episode 10 episode 20 and oh, do that. Want to see it oh, man, want to see yeah i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that tomorrow well, i'm gonna i'm gonna go look at episode one <laughs> after this just have a look if you if you go back and look look at the thumbnails all the videos you had like sometimes you had no hair you had like a little little thin bit like this on the top of your head and you had no beard and yeah yeah me without i, beard, I had beard. a short beard my beard was like here my yeah me with that i i did it i told you you know i did it i did it in a, did it in a hotel last year and i literally was i was going to a, some family thing and i was like i need to trim my beard up into the barbers and whatever and i literally went to trim it up down the sides and i just went yeah. Zoop. and i was like what do i do and i just thought leave it just leave it leave it don't think about it and i kept looking at it in the mirror i kept trying to tidy it up and then i was like it's got to come off i thought about just doing a u and just keeping this bit it's all you. intact and i thought now nah, can't do it your brother has issues like that he, he would trim it and something would happen he'd miss a bit and then he'd come to work the next day and he was bald and he has a big beard and it's like oh did it happen again the problem, is, is that, yeah. problem is with his beard though is he shaves and then you'll see him not long after and he'll be like Phew. i saw him Sorry. yesterday yesterday i was coming home from work down welly road and he was going up towards uh like the house where i used to work in with the two yeah. houses next to each other and his beard was massive i mean i only saw him the other week <laughs> it looked a lot bigger yeah yeah, yeah. So, bro just goes massive out of control yeah yeah are you still do you, can you still grow this bit no of course i would i would have a full beard mate i'd have proper taliban beard if i could i don't know what does it just stop there it just stops like here. i get if i don't shave it i get is it this side no this side yeah it will grow here really yeah. thick and like here and then this side it will grow a little bit here so it's not even the same amount that i could just like try and do a weird style sort of thing and then i'd get i'll get like patches of i mean i've got hair there now i didn't shave since yesterday but the odd you get a few hairs growing but it, nothing i could leave it two weeks and it wouldn't really have a shape I always wanted the point. That was what I yeah. wanted. Yeah, I used to have the point, but it was in a different way. It was like this. It was like down like this. It looked pretty cool. And I'd have it on there and on my head when I was on TV. I'd have the you pointy beard down the middle. No, someone tried to put fucking elastic bands in and got caught. And it's like, ow. Put like a little. Yeah. You know, like if, if you're not a little skull in there or something. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Get on a, a bead. Get a bead, get a skull bead, and just shove it in there. <laughs> With a lackey band on the bottom. Yeah, you just, you just intertwine it. In. I did, I did. When I, when it's cold at work, and I put my fleece on, I, I have started getting my beard caught in the zip now, which I'd never done before. And you always say to me, "Do you ever get it caught in your zip?" And I said, "No." But now I have, and it's a fucking pain in the ass because you're like <laughs> trying to get it off. So. The joys of having a beard, but I would never not have a beard because I think yeah, I wouldn't, it would be I wouldn't awful. Get it. I need to, obviously, my hair is just the receding is real. Look at that, you know, and I'll keep styling it until it's time to go. I don't, I'm not worried about losing it. I just want to be definitely by the time I get bold, I have to be slimmer because I can't be like overweight and bold. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, <laughs> God, that's fucking funny. I ain't going funny. that far. I'll go halfway, but I'm not going a full way. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's one or the other, right? Do you know you what fucking I mean? race. Look at me. Oh, yeah, but you're, you're not fat, though, are you? You've slimmed down loads. Yeah, over staying in half now. Hopefully, more for this weekend. So. Do you ever what do you ever like have slumps in like what you're eating? Like, I know because yeah. you, know, you 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 can be quite strict and you 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 are really good at being strict with it. Like yeah, I've I, seen I can, you I can laugh at chocolate bars. Fuck it. No, but I've seen I mean like I've like I said, I've been a pizza hut with you and I'm saying a pizza and you're going, I'm 
literally just going to sit here with a coffee. That's it. Diet Coke, it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Diet Coke or whatever. Like, what is what are you eating day to day at the moment? So, what I do, I I cook food in advance for, like, on Sunday I'll cook for Monday, Tuesday. I only have breakfast. So, I have breakfast about half nine on average. Nine, what half nine. So, it ranges from three sausages, cooked normal sausages, uh, two belly pork, two pork loins, basically that mixed throughout the week. So on Tuesday night, I will do Wednesday, Thursday breakfast, but I don't, I only eat once while I'm at work. So that breakfast time around the nine o'clock, I'll eat that food and I'll have veg with it, you know, any green veg or salad stuff, no tomatoes though. And then when I have my dinner or lunchtime, I'll just have, I've got a flask of coffee that I take, so I'll have probably two coffees and just my squash. And I'm not hungry. And then I'll eat in the evening when I get home at like five, six o'clock. And that's it, I'm not hungry. I feel so, so much energy. You know, throughout the day, I'm I'm busy doing physical things at work. You'd think I'd need more food, but I don't. I just don't feel hungry. And my body seems to be, I feel lighter. Whereas at the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, after my weigh-in, on Saturday morning, I go and get croissants from the shop and have croissant, toasted croissants for breakfast with butter. And it's like, oh my God, it's so nice. And I'll eat chocolate if I want. I'll, I'll have like chips or pizza or burgers, you know, like burgers with the buns and that, not just the burgers on their own, which I can normally have. But yeah, so, but I feel awful. Like by the time Sunday evening comes, my belly, like Sunday, I'll probably have a roast or something and I'll have a full roast, but I just feel really, really sluggish and tired because of all the carbs my body's intaking but then monday monday morning there's a struggle because obviously i'm adjusting only eating at nine o'clock not eating nothing yeah. else until the evening so by tuesday i've caught up again i'm back to normal but yeah it's uh sometimes i think i don't even like doing this but by the time i've waited another five days i crave you know, the stuff. I'm very good. I can because I've set my routine now. Two days I can eat what I want. Five days when it's important, when I'm at work and I need to, my body needs to be focused and at its best to, to be able to get through the day. It's brilliant. Cause there's nothing worse than sitting down and your fucking belly rolls are just sticking into you and you're hot and sweaty and it's like. Bleh. So so for me, lose, losing like seventeen pound, eighteen pounds of weight that's um that's really helped and i do feel so much better for it mm -hmm. and i take multi and you multi look better for it yeah i think so multivitamins and that i take all them so i mean people say oh it's bad for you it's like why i'm just cutting potatoes out i'm oh, no. taking pasta out or it's... rice out fucking hell that's a big deal this is this is the bit that annoys me the most it's like you know they'll go can't have a carnivore diet, right? Don't go on a carnivore diet. You're going to increase your chances of having a heart attack and all that stuff. No, it's you're like, losing fat around your organs. Hold on a second, right? How about nine times out of ten, most people have a carnivore diet, but they just wrap it in bread, bread and potatoes, right? Exactly, exactly. So you're telling me, me, me cutting out the chips, me cutting out the sauces, me cutting out fucking shit. You're telling me I'm worse off. Like, you're not going to be worse off. One of the things that I've been doing, I've been doing it for a while now, is, so, I've been, sort of, wake up, double espresso, bottle of water, six vitamins I have, that's it. That's it up until, I don't eat up until about one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon. To, today was two o'clock. Mm. And then, I have my dinner at six tonight. Six, I had it at six. So, I had, had tuna, tuna sandwich on brown for lunch. That was it. I had, what else did I have? I had some juice. And then I had my dinner. And that was it. I won't have anything else now. No. Whereas now, I don't feel full. I don't feel sluggish. I'm just incredibly hot. But, what I am doing though is, I'm drinking loads in the evening. Yeah. 
drinking shitloads of water. Like, and I mean, I'm just constantly. Like, is, is that a habit thing? Is it a, a, a boredom thing? I'm trying to do some stuff. Off. I'm doing it's all my a craving clean. thing. Yes, Maybe. I think it is. Because I'm doing, I'm doing all my cleaning in the evening. I'm sat folding and washing. You know, doing all the things like that. And then I'm trying to do workouts. I've been doing kettlebells last week, and that's been really good. Although I nearly dropped one on the back of my head the other day, I thought probably <laughs> kill myself not one great. Probably not a good idea. We're doing work. this. That one. Uh, and then it slipped out of it. One. <laughs> Fuck. No, no. It's, yeah. It's just my hands. My hands. I'm gonna have to get gloves. My hands got sweaty. And then literally went, oh, I nearly dropped that. But it was all the way oh. up here. It was extended. Oh, it's even worse. <laughs> Literally, one one drop there. If I hit that, you're dead. Yeah, it's like Trump. You could be like Trump. You'll be Niall Trump. Well, like Niall Trump's. <laughs> Why is it like? What happens in the morning? Do you only go for piss in the morning? Why is that far the biggest? Oh, it's awful, isn't it? It's like. <laughs> It's just or, wet in the morning. Or if you know you need a poo at some point very soon after your coffee, it's like... <laughs> that high-pitched... I don't, I don't trust That high-pitched fucking squirter noise. <laughs> it's I like... I do not trust <laughs> I mean, best advice in the world is never trust a fart, right? Do not trust a fart. No. <laughs> but no, that is the worst one. The morning fart is the fucking worst. However, two what I have noticed since I've changed things, trap wind is real. I don't know where I've, I've never really had trap wind. No. Ever since I've been started taking some on three new vitamins that I haven't been on before, um, trap wind all the time. Mm. All the time. However, I did test my blood sugars. I've been doing that, and they've been really good. Ah, oh, that's that's good. Testing, water testing. Yeah. Well, I, you you hear all these stories about oh what what happens to your body when you cut sugar out, and it's like your body is like reborn if you cut sugar out. It's amazing. I tell you what, it's so hard to find stuff that doesn't have refined sugar, sweeteners, artificial sort of MSG. Oh, shit. In, sugars are in so many foods you don't even know about yeah that's why it's best not to buy or try not to buy as much processed food as we do like get veg oh, yeah, yeah. get get your meat just the meat and you can make whatever you want with it like if you want if you like breaded chicken or whatever just buy chicken and bread it yourself so you know what just chop up a bread you know a loaf of bread don't get all the processed shit because they'll put these emulsifiers and all this other crap in there these enzymes and whatever just to make sure it preservative so they last longer they look better in the shelves it's fucking awful you know so one of my favourite things is to do is so peas green beans sometimes sometimes carrots and basically do you know like boil them all up wait for them to cool down get tuna and I mix them all in yeah, yeah mix them all in and just make a little you know add some flavour to it it's the fucking best that's my favourite to do that that's like yeah. my uh, it's such a good meal however there's barely anything in it barely calorie wise anything. yeah yeah calorie wise yeah. Been, but shit wise there's barely anything in it either you know there isn't yeah. really a lot of sugars in any of that and stuff that's why you sometimes I've gone to the dark side and I'm in mayo because salad cream is full of sugar. Yeah, mayo's got virtually nothing, so <laughs> hence keto. <laughs> That's what got me onto mayo from the first time I did keto back in, I don't know, early 2000. You were, you were 2000. fucking mayo mental though. You were fucking. I am mayo. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all over everything, Wank, mate. Wanking over mayo. Guys, yeah. thank you for joining us on another weird, interesting, interrupted episode of Dad's Lads and Kebabs. Sorry about the technical issues. It's been nearly over two years since we've had any technical difficulties. Oh, no. I mean, we used to, <clears> I mean, we film in the car and don't have one blip. 
<laughs> I, get broad, I get new broadband at home, and it's a pile of shit. We're gonna have to oh move well. It half the move the box, I think. But it can't be the box. It's fine. It can't be that bad. If it's only like a couple of meters. No. Well. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us on another episode of Dad's Dad's and Babs. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the show. See you all next week. Follow us on all our socials. And if you've got any thoughts about what we discussed today or anything you want to add, reach out to us. Get in touch. Send us a message. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>